we're gonna show you today how we're gonna load the tool into our PR pallet holder. That's a brand new one. Yeah. So you want to make sure first thing first, everything has to be clean, free of oil. Correct, you clean everything off. No oils, no grease on it. Unscrew the collet nut from the collet holder. Clean inside the surfaces that we're gonna clamp, that's important. You can use some alcohol or acetone, but make sure you grease it a little bit with some spray. You don't want it to rust if you if you don't have a climate area. So that's clean now, I like this. Everything nice and clean, no damages. You check for hint damages. You definitely don't want to damage nothing here, this area where the tool holds, and no, nothing inside the collet holders, okay? Next, you gotta check the collet nut. The collet nut has an extender in there, that's on purpose, okay? And then we're gonna select this tool for us. It's a quarter inch bull nose end mill, okay? This is the tool we're gonna clamp. Now, and this is our right collet. For the right collet, and for the right tool, you guys select the right collet. In this case, we have a quarter inch collet for a quarter inch tool, perfect fit. Okay, what you have to make sure important thing is, is here that you engage the tool into the collet full length, that's ideal depth to clamp it. But as well, you can go three quarter of the collet, still acceptable in my opinion, but if you go halfway or one third to clamp in this state, it's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. You can damage the collet. You might, have, you might have run out issues and so on and so forth. So in this case, we want to make sure we measure the full depth in our case. We can do that. One trick to make sure that you don't mess that up, you can take it out and you can make a mark in here. So you know where you stand after that. So you do that before you load the tool in the collar. So now you can take it apart. First thing you do, you make sure the collar is still clean, everything free of grease and oil. You load it in there on an angle first and then you snap it in. What you have to watch for that the collet is flush here with the nut, that's important. Okay, you don't want to have the collet just going in like this, that's not good. And you don't want to load the collet like this. This is also no good, we have a big gap here. That's not good. So you always want to do first the collet with the collet nut first and then you can go like this sometimes this works, like here, it worked nicely. But if it doesn't work, a good idea is you can flip it around like this, and go upside down, and then that's it. That's it, then you use the tool holder here, gently drop it in here. Now there comes the line in handy, you can drop it in here. And you have to be aware when you hold the tools, be gentle on it, or you can use the rag to hold it, you don't wanna cut your fingers, they are sharp. Go now to the line, which you want it, and tighten so it doesn't slide down. Everything is tight. You use our adjustable wrench here. You can use a regular wrench or a torque wrench settings. Make sure you have your right stand here. You don't want to fall if you lose balance. And tighten up. Not too crazy, not too much. Most experienced people, they work on this machine for their life. They know how much to tighten up, but a lot of companies use torque wrenches, which is better and recommended as well. And that's about good. At this point, we're ready to go. Tool is ready to machine.